The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Sergio is back. <laughs> One of the best things about our road tours is we get to meet all the people that we built relationships with. What do you know about beauty, body, and art after dark? Well, I know about beauty and body. This was a really sick year. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Our organization is called Motivational Missionaries, and we're a 501c3 located here in the U.S. We're about youth awareness programs. We go out to schools and we speak to the children for two to three hours, and we teach them about leadership, about empowerment, but then we also teach them about the dangers of human trafficking, cyberbullying, and sex team. Being that it was our first event here in the U.S., we wanted to connect with the teachers so the teachers could kind of get a feel for who we are and what it is that we're planning to do with the children. Thank you. We're about to make it happen. Good morning. We're really excited to do a minute at a time. This morning you've received a little booklet, so you can take notes on what we're going to teach you today. We're going to teach you a little bit of neuro linguistic program. We've been doing over four years around the world. This is our first school in the United States, and the only reason is because we believe in the American opportunity. Connecting with the teachers was a breeze. This was a great group of teachers that really participated and were very involved. I'm going to give you two tools today that will help you not only improve the children, but improve the quality of life. They will become more awareness. How many of you guys would like to learn that? Raise your hand to yes. yes. We are in our first motivational missionary tour event in the United States. So what are you guys going to do? Somewhere! I just want you guys to live life, don't let life leave you. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you this afternoon. It only takes 45 seconds, then 21 days, then six months to change our world. I'm very excited and motivated. I guess we learn about the different modalities of students that we can learn so we can communicate better. As you teach them, we, we can understand how they learn. It will make my life easier too because knowing how they learn, we have more of a connection. Hey, win-win situation and let's celebrate. We know that going to schools here in the United States is a much different process and administrators are a little weary of this group of motivators going in to teach their children something but we want them to know that our intentions are pure and we really want to see a change to help the students in our schools have a better quality of life and make sure that they stay focused on their education and keep safe while they're hanging out at home. We love doing things in our own hometown and one of the things I'm really proud of is that today I have my own son participating and helping us out. It's my first time doing an event in a middle school. And I hope this turns out to be a good experience and a good learning experience. I love working with children. I've worked with children ever since I was younger with counseling kids. And it's just it's awesome to see that positive difference you make. The problem today is a lot of children don't have mentors. They don't have people to look up to. And if they don't have mentors or people to look up to, they will find people to look up to and maybe it's not in the right direction. Sometimes I think we as parents don't get that message across to our own children. When there's somebody else, somebody who's doing something that, that understands them and somebody that they can possibly look up to for their successes, then they're a little more apt to listen. And what we really want to do is give them positive feedback, show them a, a real positive lifestyle and certain ways that you can really hone in and really find your greatness in all these children's lives. It's really exciting because there's anticipation. You sort of know what's coming, but you don't know what's coming. You guys are leaders. If you guys touch someone else with the 
same thing of being respectful, organized, but should be responsible. And we have 250 kids. So without further delay, we're going to bring to the stage Ms. Alila, and she's going to tell you a little about our presentation today. Let's give her a hand. So this has been good fun. So I want you guys to be as productive and as great as you can possibly be. Let's start using it to tap into our full potential. You're not gonna bring somebody up here that's gonna show you that was in that same chair that you guys were in. Bert Oliva. The more you get involved in life, the more you take action, the more life gives back. But everyone has a story. Everyone has an opportunity to make a difference. When I grew up in Little Havana, my friends are either in prison or dead. I chose to be different. How many people here have passion and have a dream that they're going to do something big in life? Raise your hand and say yes. So what you just saw today is not something private. We want to go out to your children as well. If you want us to go out to your school, community group, anything, reach out to us at mmtour.org. I just ate some fire. The interaction, the, the energy that he provides, and he's provided back is a great sign of things to come. You know, I'm making it happen. So we come in and we do this big show and we get the kids aware, but then a lot of people are concerned what happens next. Well, we have a program that for the rest of the year, these children will be connecting with our group and learning additional tools, additional skills that are gonna help them. We don't just wanna come in and do the big rah-rah and then we're gone. We wanna make sure that we make a positive impact in these children's lives. I wanna thank both of you. You guys are doing an amazing job. It, and let me tell you, it's hard. It's hard. I see what you guys are doing. It's hard. I mean, one thing is talking about it, one thing is seeing it. It seems as if Bert had been working with them forever. Just the excitement, level was so much different. Uh, the, the intimacy, the participation levels. Well, the follow-up program, we're going to make it an even more intimate group of students. We'll have more hands-on, more face-to-first, face more individuality. Let's make it happen. Let's go get it. Let's review the episode. For the most part, what I learned was that it takes time in order to succeed on whatever it is that you want to do in your life, you got to discipline yourself and get ready for the long haul. Success doesn't happen overnight. In fact, we've been doing motivational missionary seminars all over the world for the past four years to finally do our first one in the United States. So the message here is you can always give in, you can always give out, but don't ever give up. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, Keep making it happen, and I'll see you next week. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>